Good morning, everybody. Well, it's just good to say hi and again in my mind's eye. I can see your faces and it's just good to connect with you this morning. Hey, a lot of you have been uh, contacting us and it's been fun because you've been asking, how are we doing? You know, we've been calling people and checking up on them, but people are asking how we're doing. And the answer is we're doing terrific. In fact, um, I, this morning, I'm going to take a couple of minutes and show you all the things that I'm learning. All right. One thing is, you know that um, my routine has been to every morning go to Panera and I get a bagel. I, I get it sliced. I get it toasted. And um, uh, it's a French toast bagel. And, and then I get cream cheese and I get a, a cup of coffee. Well, I can't go to Panera. But here's what I've learned. Uh, probably some of you also have one of these in your home. It's called a toaster. And, and, and that's what we have right here. And I've learned how to, how to work a toaster. And, and let me show you how this works. This is a, a package of bagels. And you can pull out a bagel. And, uh, and this is what you do, which is a little bit strange, but you take the bagel and you tear it up and, and, and you do this to it. And, and, and then you you got, you know, it's sliced. And then, and then because, uh, and this is something to remember, when you put it in the toaster, uh, it, it doesn't always go in real well. So what you have to do is you have to kind of do this to the bagel and you see how that works, and then and, and then it'll go in there real good, okay? So I've learned that, and you put that in there, and then what you have is, um, you know, when you go to Panera, you get this little bitty thing of spread, you know, of cream cheese, but here I've got cream cheese. And so I take the cream cheese, and then I take my little spoon here, and as much as I want, I get cream cheese, and I put that, well, I, I, I put that there and then I have a knife and, and I, I spread that out. I'll tell you what, this is good stuff. And I, I, every morning I've been doing this, I have my own cup of coffee and it's been wonderful. Now, one last thing here that uh, 52 years ago, uh, Kathleen cut my hair. And when, when she was done, I don't remember what I said. It, it probably wasn't real good. But anyway, I remember what she said. And she said, never, ever, ever again do you want me to cut your hair. And I won't do it. Well, I just want you to know that uh, she's cutting my hair now. Uh, I mean, if you're asking how our marriage is going, it is going great. Kathleen is cutting my hair. So we're having a great time. Okay. Now, seriously, uh, well, all of that is serious. That is exactly how much fun we're having. But uh, I really wanted to just talk to you and let you know that this Sunday, we have something real special. A couple of months ago, I asked uh, Dr. Rod Robinson if he would open up the Word of God for us on a Sunday morning. And we put it on the calendar, and it will be this Sunday. And I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I hope by now many of you have met Rod and Amy and Travis, their son. They're members of our church. They love the Lord. Uh, he's a medical doctor here in the the uh, Southport, Greenwood area. But this Sunday, he'll be preaching, and uh, here's the name of his uh, message. It will be Lessons from the Psalmists Amidst Life's Hardships. And you don't want to miss that. He'll be uh, teaching us from Psalms 42, 10 o'clock Sunday. And so here's what you can do. At 10 o'clock, uh, either use Facebook to look at the online message, or you can... Uh, We'll be sending out an email to you, and that'll give you a little address that you can click on, and then you can get it there, okay? So if you're needing anything, would you call me? And uh, we're praying for you, and God is not wringing his hands. God knows what he's doing, and we miss you, and we'll see you soon.